All right, guys, in honor of Father's Day being this last weekend, we decided to have our Mom Tales question coincide with that. So we asked you to pick a celebrity dad, real or fiction, who relates to your spouse or partner and why. And here we go. We got some really good responses. Number one, Sierra S. Phil Dunphy from Modern Family, hands down. I guess there's no explanation needed. We didn't get an explanation. So if you've seen Modern Family, though, like he... I don't know, I think he's my, probably my favorite TV dad of all time just because he's like goofy and kind of awkward and weird, but like relatable at the same time. I could go back and watch Modern Family forever. It's just such a good show. And, it, and it's not only that, it's like that he, you see him in his vulnerable sides too and he really relates to his kids and he just, just does whatever he can to help them out. So that's a great answer. We actually had a lot of people saying Phil Dunphy. I tried to pick all different answers, but I think the biggest percentage would be Phil. Number two, Christina H. My hubby is a jokester and can be serious, is witty, and a dork. He relates best to this man. And she posted a gif of Ryan Reynolds. And I just say there were a few other people that said Ryan Reynolds because I think he has that like relatable like tone to him because you know, he's very good looking, he's in a lot of movies, but he's also very like real and can, can be kind of dorky like she said. Like he's not this unattainable kind of guy you see in some movies. He's very, seems real like, and down to earth. So I think she described that in the best way. Kind of serious, kind of witty, kind of goofy, dorky, all, all that combined into one. Okay, number three, Sally P, Bandit from Bluey. So I don't have any personal experience with watching this show. I think I've seen Bluey with my nieces a couple, like a couple times in there, but I don't know. But again, there was, there was no explanation, so we'll have to we'll have to find out later why why her uh, partner relates to Bluey. Okay, number four, Jess L. Jack Pearson from This Is Us. He would do anything for me and our kids. He's great about sitting with our kids when they're upset and letting them really feel heard. Oh, that makes me want to cry, Jack Pearson. If you guys watch This Is Us, just do it when you're like wanting a good cry and you have some time to yourself because you will cry. I did not make it through all the seasons. It just ended up getting really sad, really depressing. Every every episode, something really sad would happen. It was, it was a lot, but I think I watched the first two seasons, two or three maybe, but man, Jack Pearson, uh, it's Milo, Milo Ventimiglia and I just, I love him as an actor, so that's a great choice. Um, number five, Heather Q. Sandy Cohen from the OC. Oh, my nostalgia, I love it. The way my husband helps out my son reminds me a lot of Sandy from the OC. Maybe it's because I always looked up to him when I watched the show when I was younger, but he truly embodies someone my son can look up to and be a safe place for his friends too. I love that. Man, we're probably like, I just, I love the nostalgia, but we're probably, probably about the same age we're watching it, watching the OC. That was such a great show and Sandy was such a great yeah, person to kind of look up to. He always seemed to kind of have a level head. And then when, you know, Ryan from the other town was having a hard time, I don't need to go into the whole story if you haven't seen it, but basically a kid in juvie, he brings him into their house. His actual son living at home was kind of like the nerdy kid, didn't really have friends. And so bringing this new kid in their house, they, um, you know, become good friends and Hijinks and Sue. It's a crazy time in like this rich town. Yeah, it's it's crazy. But Sandy Cohen, for sure, great one. Number six, Erica A. Dre Johnson from Blackish. He can make the kids and me laugh to no end, but he inspires lessons in a fun and meaningful way. I love that. I've seen a few episodes of Blackish and I can see what you mean about about Dre Johnson. Just the way he relates to the kids in a way that's like, again, obtainable. I think a lot of times on shows, it's like these like grand gestures that you're like, that would never happen in real life. Um, and so I think he does it in like a obtainable way that kids can kind of like understand what, where the parents are coming from, if that made any sense. Number seven, Anonymous. We've been watching Boy Meets World 
Oh, again, the nostalgia, I love this. And have established the hubs and I are totally Mr. and Mrs. Matthews. Oh, I remember this show so well. I mean, it's been a really long time since I've watched it. It was so long, in fact, that when I first read Mr. and Mrs. Matthews, I was thinking the teacher. Now I can't even remember his name. But now I remember that's Corey, Corey's, uh, Corey and Eric? Corey and Eric are brothers. I'm trying to figure out the show again. It's their parents. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, okay. I like it. I do always remember them being very reasonable with the kids. Again, of course, I watched it when I was a kid. So maybe I'm just like, oh, they're just parents. I don't know. But I just always remember them being really like sweet with the kids and knowing what was going on with the kids when they were going through a hard time or a breakup or something was happening. So I thought that was kind of cool. Number eight, anonymous. She says, okay, please keep this anonymous because it might sound mean, but I mean it in the most endearing way. My husband in some ways, some is capitalized, some ways reminds me of Michael Scott from The Office. Not the early seasons where he's out of, just out of touch and rude, but later in the seasons in his sweet moments. He likes to crack a joke when things get hard and tries to act like things don't bug him, but at the end of the day, he loves deeply and care, really cares about his family. I totally get that though. Huge Michael Scott fan. But I get it because in the early seasons, especially like recently, I was re-watching season one of The Office and he's a completely, it's like deep down he's the same, but the way he acts in some ways are just so cringy in the first season, or actually probably the first like three seasons. You're kind of like, ooh, yeah, let's, maybe that's not good. But later on, you kind of see more sides of his character development and you see that he's becoming kind of more aware of, you know, his words and how he treats other people and how deeply he cares. Oh my gosh, especially the final season. I won't do any spoilers, but especially the final season, you really see, or his final season, I should say, you really see what this place means to him and then how much he loves his fiance. Her name is totally slipping my mind right now, but I totally get that. But I get why you maybe you want to be anonymous. You know, you don't want people to take it the wrong way. I love that. I loved reading these because I think we all see different sides of people in our lives based on maybe the shows we watch. I mean, I can see from a lot of these, a lot of them are shows, you know, from years ago. Um, a lot of them were shows I grew up with. You know, see Boy Meets World, Modern Family a little bit. I know that was on for like ever. I don't know exactly what years, but. I was probably in high school or college when that was on. So yeah, I think you kind of are inspired by people that you see on TV and kind of relate to them in different ways and seeing different sides. All right, thanks to everyone that submitted their responses to this week's Mom Tales. We got a lot of great responses on our social media page. So if you want to read some more, I uh, highly recommend you check out our Facebook group. We have a great thread going of these responses. Hope everyone had a great Father's Day weekend, uh, spending some time with their family and celebrating the father in their life. All right, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week.